hello guys, welcome to the vlog. It's Christmas a week, oh my goodness. It seems so crazy to think that like, we're just a few days before Christmas. I am making a donation run today. In my back seat is a bunch of stuff that I have been needing to take and donate for, oh gosh, I don't know, far too long. Pretty much since I rearranged my beauty room, which was like a month and a half ago. I don't know, it was a while ago. So either way, it's been sitting around waiting to be dropped off for way too long. I finally got my butt in gear and got it loaded in my car this morning. So I am on my way to do that. And then I'm going to pick up a few things from the girl that does my nail. Sorry, the road is super rough here. They're doing a bunch of construction. Anyways, um, the girl that does my nails does macrame stuff and she made some absolutely adorable macrame ornaments. Also, the lighting is apparently really bad. She had some adorable macrame ornaments and I'm picking some up as some gifts. So we're gonna go do that and then I'm going to pick up my mom because we are going to go do Christmas with my grandma. It is currently Wednesday, my first day out for the week, which means oh, the lighting is terrible, I'm so sorry. Which means Christmas is a beginning for me. It is my Christmas break. So um, yeah, we're gonna go have Christmas with my grandma. I'm gonna pick up my mom. I also need to go and pick up some stocking stuffer stuff for my husband. I um, was going to go do it last week on Saturday and totally spaced it. I was so irritated with myself. I've been planning for like a month and a half that I was going to go do it on Saturday when I went and did my laundry and totally spaced it. Didn't remember till I was on my way home at like 9.30 or whatever time it was that I headed home and yeah too late to do it then because they're already closed. So I'm going to pick up some stocking server stuff. I think after I pick up my mom might be the plan. I don't know. We'll see what time it is when I get done with all of my errands here in town. But anyways, yeah, sorry. I'm just rambling on. Kind of listing off everything I got to do. I uh, spent the morning just hanging out around the house. Of course, collecting my Goodwill stuff. Oh my God, the light is even worse. Oh. Anyways, collecting my Goodwill stuff. Um, one of my sister-in-laws came over and she grabbed our cans so she could return them and um, did a load of dishes, did some reading, took some Instagram photos. I think I'll have posted them today or maybe tomorrow, I haven't decided. And um, yeah, just super chill day around the house. checking with you guys somewhere along the road. I just pulled into my parents' driveway. I got the Goodwill stuff dropped off and I uh, picked up the macrame stuff. I just wanted to share with you guys. I haven't actually looked at them yet. Other than of course what I had saw when I was ordering them. But I haven't seen them in person since I got my nails done and she had them hanging up in her office. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I should see if she still has them available. Um, Oh my god, they're so cute. Okay, so I ordered this adorable rainbow. It's, hopefully it's focusing. It's white and red, and then of course just a neutral macrame color. So cute. And then I got two trees, and the trees are just macrame with a little bit of some kind of metallic red on the bottom. I'm going to keep one of the trees for sure, and then I think I'm going to give the rainbow and one of the trees away. I'm not going to say to who. Hopefully they're not watching, but they might be. I don't know. Anyways, any of these away as gifts. I thought these were just so cute. She also had some snowflakes and some candy canes. They were also absolutely adorable. I would have bought them all, except for I wasn't sure who I would have given them all to other than to keep them on myself. also thought these would be really cute to hang from your rear view mirror. But are obviously as ornaments to hang in your tree if you want to do a full set, but I would need to get quite a few of them to put them all in my tree because you, know, you need at least like four or five to hang in your tree. Um, but anyways, I'm going to give these as little gifts and keep one for myself. 
But are these not just the cutest little macrame ornament things? She did. She does some really cute stuff with macrame. She does earrings, which I bought from her in the past. She does like wristlets. She does. Um, I forget what else she does, but. Yeah, these are so cute. So anyways, I'm here at my parents. I'm going to go in, get my mom, and then we're going to head to my grandma's. I'm home now. We had a nice time with my grandma. And then I went back home and I cut my dad's hair. And now I'm home. And I'm going to snuggle up on the couch and read a book. I've just been reading this Christmas book called Christmas Bells. It's just a nice little Christmas novel. So I've been reading that the last few days. So I'm just going to snuggle up here on the couch in the light of the Christmas tree and uh, do a little bit of reading before I go to bed tonight. And tomorrow we've got a full day of fun Christmas festivities, so I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so uh, today my husband and I are going on a little date, uh, a little Christmassy date. We need to drop his car off first, that's kind of our start of our date, and we drop his car off to get some work done. And then we're gonna go um, out to eat, and we're gonna go to a movie, and then we're gonna go do, uh, we're gonna go to like a light festival, a drive through light festival. Oh, uh, actually one I went to with my parents a couple weeks ago, but him and I haven't gone yet, and we go every year, so we're gonna go do that. So I thought I'd show you guys my little outfit, just a super casual little outfit. So I'm wearing just one of those bungee tanks from Rue. It's just a nice white bungee tank, a pair of mom jeans from American Eagle, I have a pile of clothes on the bed that I need to get put away, so if you can see that. And of course, my makeup desk is always a mess back there. And then this really pretty, like, Christmas red sweater from, I think Maurice's last year. Got it on sale. And then, of course, my white kids, because I'm always wearing my white kids. So, got my hair pulled up in a ponytail, I got some pretty makeup, and we're getting ready to go.
we're at Red Robin and I just I ordered the gingerbread milkshakes that was supposed to have a little gingerbread guy on it like this one but she said they were out so this is what I got I'm gonna give it a try it's good very sweet it's not it's kind of more like graham crackery than like super gingerbread but it's good both my husband and I like it recommended if you go all right, I got the fondue bacon cheeseburger or something. So it comes with like a pot of fondue for you to dip your burger in. I'm so excited, it looks delicious. We are home from our date night. We decided not to go to the movies because we were just getting too tired and I have things I gotta do. So I'm going to be making mini pies for Thanksgiving and then mini pie truffles. So I saw this on, I wanna say Pinterest, where they took a pre-made pie. This one is from Costco and they cut out little mini pies with the pre-made pie. And then with the extras, or the leftovers, they mashed it up and then made truffles with it. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I might start part of it tonight and finish the rest of it up tomorrow. I'm not sure, it is kind of late, so we'll just kinda see how it goes. But that's what we're gonna do. So I went and I bought this big pumpkin pie from Costco. Yeah, you did. I have two different sizes of cookie cutters, and now I don't know if this one's too big or if this is the right size. What do you think? This one's probably too small, right? Mm -hmm. This one? Well, when I watched the video, they made theirs. That's a one-biter. Right, and that's how theirs were kind of in the video. What, what do you want? I don't know. What would you rather have? One-biters or a couple-biters? This is a hard decision to make, y'all. Well, how much do you need to use for the truffles? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. Should you want to watch the video? Okay, so my husband and I said I should go with the medium size. Like I was saying, I have two different sizes. He thinks I should go with this one. So I technically have three, but the other one's way too big. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to punch holes. I don't think this is deep enough to cut all the way through. So I'm just going to kind of make like outlines. And then I'm going to have to finish cutting the whole thing with a knife. But we're going to cut them and then pop them out and I'm just going to set them on a cutting board to set them aside for now. I'll probably actually just put them back in this container when we're all done for transporting purposes and then we're going to put them on like a charcuterie board kind of situation on Christmas and then with the remainder of the pie, like I said, we'll put it in a bowl, we'll smash it up and we'll make them into truffles. But okay, let's start by doing the little cutout thing. Hopefully this goes well. So I pushed it down, like I said, it didn't go all the way through. So now what I'm gonna do is just go through and kind of follow that line and cut the crust and the rest of the pie. What's that and then I think I'm just gonna kind of cut it all the way up because I don't really know how I'm gonna get it out. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. Theirs just came out with the thing because they had a lot deeper cookie cutter than I have. So maybe we'll be able to break the pie apart around the pieces maybe. I don't know. We'll see. do a few small ones in here because I've got a little extra left. Okay, 
now we're going to try to see if we can get some of this extra pie out of there, I guess, around the little pies. Some of that went really well and some of that did not. I went and got a pie spatula to get all those pies out of there and it made such a big difference. It made it so much easier to scoop those out of there. So now I've got a bowl full of all my pie crust and pie leftovers. So what they did in the video was they just took a wooden spoon and smashed it all together until it made like one concoction. It was all blended together. So that's what we're going to do next, I guess. I don't really love using wooden spoons. I don't have very many, but I guess that's what they used. And that's what we're going to use too. Okay, I didn't realize that my camera wasn't filming. So um, once I got this to a good and mushy texture, I took a cookie dough scooper, kind of like a mini ice cream scoop, and I scooped it up into little balls and I put them on a cookie sheet like I'm going to show you now. Got my tray done. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the freezer for a while to chill. Good morning. So I did not finish the truffles yesterday. It was way too late. By the time I got them all rolled out and finished, it was like 10.30 and I was reading the instructions and I was like, okay, they recommend that they sit in the freezer for like at least an hour. And I was like, it's gonna be like 11.30. So I was like, it's probably gonna be at least midnight by the time I get done with the truffles. And I'm like, I'm already tired, so I just decided, you know what, no, we're just going to finish them tomorrow. So we're going to, so here we are, we're doing it. Um, I mean, I'm going to finish the pies off tomorrow, which will be Christmas. I figured all I'm going to do is put a little, like, whipped cream on top and maybe a little cinnamon or nutmeg. But I don't want to do the whipped cream too early because I feel like whipped cream, like, sitting kind of deflates and loses its structure. Kind of melts, for lack of a better word when it's been sitting for a while. So I'm just gonna do it tomorrow morning before we go, or maybe even then, maybe even when we're setting out the charcuterie board, I'll put a little whipped cream on them then maybe, which we'll have whipped cream there anyways, cause we'll have, you know, we're gonna be eating pie and other things. So yeah, whipped cream tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna finish the truffles now. So I've got the truffles in the freezer. They've been there overnight. So we got white chocolate chips, and toothpicks and in the video they used styrofoam i don't have anything with styrofoam i had just thrown away a couple boxes that had like christmas presents and stuff that had styrofoam and i'm like well if i hadn't thrown that away that would have been good but um our every plate box came yesterday and it had this like cardboard uh insulation and i thought you know what this would be perfect to shove the q-tips in so the q-tips no Toothpicks. I hope I didn't call those Q-tips a minute ago either. Toothpicks. The toothpicks in while our um, truffles are drying. So that's what they did. Instead of just trying to like roll them around in the chocolate on like a fork or something, which is what we've always done with like cake pops, unless you've left them on a stick. But these, once they're har like hardened and dried, you're going to pop them off the toothpick and then you can just pick them up and eat them like a truffle. So what we're going to do now is melt the chocolate chips in a microwave safe bowl in the microwave and I just bought Ghirardelli premium baking classic white chips uh, the video that I saw and I will link this Pinterest post down below I will link their page and everything I'll link it down below so you guys can go and watch it see their recipe but um, they use chocolate and my aunt and I both decided 
that we thought white chocolate would be better. I don't know why, but white chocolate and pumpkin sounds better than chocolate and pumpkin. The only time I ever eat chocolate and pumpkin together is hot chocolate with pumpkin in it. So, anyways, we decided to do, we decided to go with white chocolate. Now, if you're not white chocolate fans, you'd probably would rather go with chocolate. Almost just dropped that bag and made a huge mess. So, I bought two bags because I was not sure how much I would need and I didn't read the instructions before I went shopping. So I just emptied the whole bag into my Pyrex bowl here. And I'm going to read what their melting instructions say. It says microwave safe container, 50% power for one and a, for one to one and a half minutes. Stir and then continue to heat 15 to 30 seconds at a time. So Merry Christmas Eve you guys. It's been a pretty laid back morning so far. It's actually just hit noon. We watched the original Christmas, or Christmas, the original, we watched the original Grinch this morning and then I went and curled my hair because I showered and washed my hair last night. I said I better get that out of the way so I don't have a greasy hair mop on Christmas. Usually like Friday, Saturday, somewhere in there is hair washing day for me so I just decided to do it on Thursday night instead so I didn't have you know yucky hair for Christmas and Christmas Eve and then so I curled my hair we watched the original Grinch um, my husband's working on a puzzle for the last couple of days and helped him finish that off this morning I finished burning one of my candles Bath and Body Works candles yesterday it was the perfect Christmas I think and so I started lighting a new one this morning I think it's called like bright Christmas morning oh my gosh it smells so good I wasn't sure if it smelled quite Christmassy or not but it smells delicious like I love how it smells and there's just one candle is like smelling up the whole house I am in love with the smell of that candle if it comes back next year I might have to buy it don't like I said I don't know if it's really like a true Christmas Christmassy smell but it smells so good totally recommend it all right just stirred my chocolate just stirred my chocolate chips now I'm going to um, put them back in for like 15 to 30 second intervals like it said and I guess I'll keep doing that until they're all melted my chocolate is all melted so um, I guess now I need to get my um, truffles, my pumpkin pie truffles, out of the refrigerator or freezer, wherever they are. Here they are, all frozen. They don't look any different than they did last night. So let's pick one up and see how this goes. So they're. I made a mistake because I I pulled them out to um, get the ice trays underneath them and left them out for about an hour a little bit ago and forgot to put them back in. So they're kind of a little soft and I feel like they need to go back in the freezer for a little bit longer. So, okay, we're going to put them back in the freezer for a little bit. Oh my goodness, it is so windy and rainy outside right now. It's crazy. Okay, so I put the um, truffles back in the freezer for another hour plus just melted our chocolate a little bit more just kind of got it like ready again I left it in the microwave while I was um, doing my makeup and stuff and I think we're ready to go the truffles are a lot harder now I think they're better texture than they were so we're gonna pop them on a little stick here and see how this all goes Alright guys, I am three in and this already is not going well. These are softening super duper quickly and I'm finding it really hard to get those tiny little toothpicks. Like to get my fingers under them and get them shoved into the cardboard without getting all that chocolate on my fingers and getting my fingers stuck to the truffles. Why did everything always look so easy on Pinterest? I'm starting to think that chocolate covered things are just not my journey except for the oreos those are the only things i've ever done that were chocolate dipped that actually turned out good 
Maybe I should try dipping the toothpick in chocolate and letting it harden a little bit and then sticking them in, although then the toothpicks are not going to want to come out of the pumpkin truffles later. Yeah, like these are already getting sticky. And so then they're like not, the toothpicks aren't sticking in them very well. Maybe I need to do this later tonight again or do it in really quick spurts. I don't know. So this is already not working out very well. Like that, I just tried to pull it up and it, it didn't work. I don't know, I give up. Truffles, chocolate truffles just are not my journey. I'm gonna try to figure this out and let you guys know how it goes. We're at my aunt's and my mom gave me a little Christmas Eve gift. There's a little pop pop socket. Oh, okay. Are you filming? And a sparkly red phone case. A little Christmas phone case situation. I do really like that Santa. Obviously. Right. I also got some really pretty silver hoops. We are home. My husband helped me make the truffles because I was struggling. But we got them done. Let me show you what they look like. They actually didn't turn out too bad. They're a little messy, but better than I thought they were going to turn out because it got a little rough there for a minute. But here they are. We did try one that did not turn out good at all, but they tasted delicious. So like I said, I will have the recipe linked below. Just know when they don't turn out Pinterest perfect, when it ends up being a little more nailed it situation, that it's okay. They taste just as good going down. So anyways, I put them in just this metal tin so they'll be easy for transport. And I'm going to put them in the fridge overnight so they can kind of chill and, you know, stick together and harden and whatever. But anyways, there are our pumpkin pie truffles. The mini pies are still in the fridge and they are ready to go for tomorrow. Anyways, like I said, we're home. We had a good evening, hung out with my sister-in-law and her kids and the in-laws. And um, I think I am going to go to bed here pretty soon. going to go take off my makeup, get in my jammies, and go get in bed because I am tired. We've got a really long day ahead of us tomorrow. Merry Christmas, guys. My hair looks crazy. I literally just rolled out of bed for actually the second time this morning i am making coffee in my really cute little stranger mugs the stranger mugs stranger things mug that my sister-in-law got me yesterday for christmas it says mornings are for coffee and contemplations it's a stranger things quote if you haven't seen the show then you wouldn't know I'm realizing i should probably rinse it out before i use it just put it out of the box Anyways, my husband and I got up at like 6 o'clock this morning and opened our gifts. He got up to go to the bathroom and he came in and he was like, Babe, my Christmas. I was like, my Christmas, babe. And he's like, you want to open our presents? I'm like, okay. Like, why not? I already knew we had a lot to do this morning. A lot to get done. We had to be my aunts by 11 or at 11. And so I already knew we had a lot going on around the lights in front of me so um, I was like you know what sure let's just get it out of the way while well, my hair really is crazy but like I said literally just ro rolled out of bed so we got up opened our presents and then about seven o'clock went back to bed for a little while and now it's about nine and I just got back up and now I make myself some coffee and I'm gonna go get ready so I thought I'd just film a little montage get ready with me I'm just glad we don't have to meet my sister-in-laws at 7 o'clock in the morning like we've done the last few years because that's just way too early for me to be ready of any sort and somewhere on a holiday, especially when, because we don't have kids. I'm like, I don't want it to be up that early unless I can go back to bed, you know, <laughs> like we did this morning. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to have some coffee. I'm going to get my makeup and stuff done and figure out what I'm wearing for the day. My husband bought me a bunch of new clothes. I am going to be doing a what I got for Christmas video. It'll probably go up on Friday. So I think it'll be going up on New Year's Eve we'll have, is how that's going to fall. So uh, keep an eye out for that video if you guys want to see what I got. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish making my coffee and I'm going to get ready.
All right, my makeup is done. I gotta fix my hair. Uh, I'm gonna wait to get dressed and figure out what I'm wearing before I put a lip on. I'm thinking a red lip, but also like I don't wanna deal with having to do touch-ups and worry about getting on my chin when I eat or like, I don't know, just, you know, smearing throughout the day. So I might just do a nude lip, but like I said, I'm gonna wait to get dressed before I decide what lip I'm gonna throw on. So I'm gonna get dressed, fix my hair, throw a lip on, and um, get the car loaded. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little while. I'm gonna put you far away from the hole. Well, I'm afraid it's hot. It's not that hot. It was the night. It's got here. Well, you can connect it to your phone, but when I'm just doing oh. shit like this, it doesn't really matter that much. It's not really happening. <laughs> so we decided to do charcuterie boards for our Christmas dinner. So we've got a whole assortment here. We've got sliders and ham and roast beef we got little pigs in a blanket some cheese bread got a whole little like deviled eggs cheese crackers meats more cheese and crackers and then a little mac and cheese board going on over here so mac and cheese and all the fixings so much good stuff Excuse that how we got a squirt anyways. Oh, okay. No, I really wanted the root beer. I just couldn't find it. Hey, when you <laughs> filming, me, idea. How is this going? I was just about to start talking and the whole camera slides well, how am I to, to the left. Slide to the left. How are we looking? I mean, that's all right. I think it was crooked a little bit anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay. Carson and I are going to make a gingerbread house, although it's actually, I don't know, made out of Oreo. So what do you call that? An Oreo bread house? We were just discussing what to call it. For shits and giggles. Right. I sprayed up and bought right after by the step. Yeah, for shits and giggles. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're going to attempt to make a gingerbread house. And this one you actually have to, like, put together. So we're going to see how this goes. It comes with the gingerbread house pieces. No killing of the grass. No killing of the grass. Frosting. Is candy. I need candy. Sprinkly candy things, gumdrops, and two bags of Oreos. Two big Oreos and a bag of mini Oreos, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'll feel it. Green out there. All right, our gingerbread house is finished. After a little bit of hysteria and delusionalness and a snowman yawn, 
wrong. Our gingerbread house, not too terrible. I mean, it definitely could have been better. But, you know, we tried our best. Let me know how we did. What the fuck happened? Well, language. Easy. I'm home now. We had such a good day. It was so much fun. We had a blast making the gingerbread house, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what to call it because it's not made out of gingerbread. So, anyways, we had a blast doing that. Um, I had to stop filming partway through because my camera died. Um, but we had an absolute blast. We got a little hysterical. Uh, when the snowman and stuff started falling apart, but it was it was so much fun tonight or today. Um, played games and opened presents, of course, and had just so much food. And it was just nice to spend time with the family, and it was just a really really good Christmas. Even though it was kind of a small group of us, a lot of times we have a lot bigger group of us that gets together. And this year it was just it was just a very small group of us. It was just close family. Um, so, anyways, yeah, we had a really good Christmas. We got home. Oh gosh, probably around seven ish, I'd say. And um, got home and picked up the house from this morning and our gift opening and put our gifts away. Although I'll have to get them out here in a few days and do a what I got for Christmas video. Um, and then we've just been watching Christmas movies. And um, I started doing some editing, but there's no way I'm going to finish the editing the video tonight. So it's going to go up late tomorrow. I'm sorry about that, but I'm just too tired to finish it tonight. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Happy holidays, you guys. Bye.